in Tagai Tai, where every breeze whispers tranquility and every view paints a thousand words, your 2024 escape awaits. Pack your bags and let Tagai Tai cast its spell on you in 2024, a haven where serenity meets excitement, promising a gateway like no other. Experience the magic of Tagai Tai in 2024, where each sunrise brings new possibilities and each sunset paints the sky in hues of adventure and relaxation. So if you're ready for breathtaking views, delicious eats, and a whole lot of relaxation, stick around. Tagai Tai, located in the province of Cavite in the Philippines, is a popular destination for both local and international tourists. It's known for its cool climate, stunning views, and abundant activities. This city offers a serene retreat from the bustling metropolis of Manila. Tagai Tai is one of the most frequented places in the south because of its outstanding scenery. It overlooks Tall Lake and Tall Volcano and has a cold climate given its high altitude. This makes both the volcano and the lake visible from several vantage points. The currency in Tagai Tai is the Philippine Peso. Most of the residents of Tagai Tai, 93.58%, speak the Tongalog language. The second most used dialect in Tongalai is Bicolano, which is spoken by 1.52% of the residents. Tagai Tai City is always on top of the list of weekend destinations for city dwellers. It's known for its stunning views, gastronomic food trips, and family-friendly activities. Despite being just two to three hours away from the Philippines' capital Manila, Tagai Tai has cooler weather. Best time to go to Tagai Tai. Planning a smooth trip to Tagai Tai? Well, it's crucial to be aware of the seasons and weather conditions. Take it easy at the many nature parks around. Keep in mind, some tourist spots might shut down or cancel plans because of the unpredictable weather, sudden rain, or unexpected thunderstorms. Stay prepared and enjoy your Tagai Tai adventure hassle-free. Summer Season March to May Tagai Tai has always been a go-to spot for vacations, especially in the summer months from March to May. People love its cooler temperatures compared to Metro Manila. Families often pack picnic boxes and head to public parks in Tagai Tai. Here, you'll find info about the peak season and the yearly festival in Tagai Tai. If you're into picnics or outdoor fun, March to May is perfect with less chance of unpredicted rain or thunderstorms. Keep an eye out for the locals though, especially after school hours. It can get pretty busy. Tagai Tai is famous for its chill vibes and accessible tourist spots for city dwellers. Rainy season, June to October. Tagai Tai experiences a high amount of rainfall from June to October, which also happens to be the coldest time of the year here, especially at night. Fair warning that if you visit from June to October, crowds would probably be fewer, but there are higher chances that your trip might end with rains ranging from light to heavy. Holiday season, November to February. Tagai Tai is one of the top destinations during the Christmas holidays. It's why it's necessary to prepare yourself for large crowds and long lines if you plan on going to amusement parks, tours, and so on. Just in case it rains, make sure to bring a jacket or an umbrella with you when exploring Tagai Tai. Climate and Weather Tagai Tai's weather, much like the rest of the Philippines, has two main seasons, dry and wet. Unlike Metro Manila, it tends to rain more here, so it's smart to check the weather forecast before planning your trip. During the summer months of March to May, temperatures usually stay below 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. In February, the city recorded its lowest average temperature at 18.8 degrees Celsius or 65.84 degrees Fahrenheit. While that might not sound too chilly, keep in mind that the average temperature in other parts of the Philippines all year round is 26.6 degrees Celsius or 79.9 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a notable difference worth considering. What to wear In Tagai Tai summer months March to May, opt for light and breathable outfits during the day. But don't forget, it can get chilly at night, so having a light jacket or scarf handy is a good idea. In the rainy season, June to October, pack an umbrella, wear a rain jacket, and opt for waterproof shoes. If you're around during the holidays from November to February, make sure to dress warmly. Layer up with a sweater or cardigan to stay cozy in the cool night breeze. How to get to Tagai Tai There are many ways you can get to Tagai Tai. If you're coming from outside Manila, you have to visit the capital of the country to make the trip to Tagai Tai more manageable. 
All you need to do is to book tickets bound for Manila. You'll be mainly taking a bus or a van from here on out. Just make sure that you have your itinerary ready before going to Tagaytay. If you're coming from Manila, then you're in luck because there are quite a few hassle-free options to reach the town depending on your itinerary. As mentioned above, Tagai Tai is connected to three neighboring municipalities broadening your commute options. If you already reside in the nearby towns, then going to Tagai Tai may be one quick jeepney or bus ride away for you. Enjoy the view of Tall Lake and Volcano. Seeing as the spot is quite popular, of course it'd make it to the top of this list. If you have or haven't seen the tall volcano before, there's always something so humbling and exciting about seeing this from afar, such as in cafes overlooking the view. Visit the Sky Ranch theme park. For some extra fun, especially if you have kids or are young at heart, consider visiting a theme park. Sky Ranch, located on the higher parts of Chagai Tai, offers slightly cooler temperatures. Much like other amusement parks in the Philippines, it features classic rides like carousels, roller coasters, and ferris wheels. With a paper trip system, tickets at Sky Ranch are more budget-friendly compared to other competing amusement parks. That's great news for those who like to stick to a budget. Plus, there are plenty of food stalls to keep you fueled throughout your fun-filled day. Go on a food trip. Tons of famous Tagai Thai coffee shops and Tagai Thai restaurants boast magnificent views in Tagai Thai. It's not so surprising that people would include specific restaurants to cross out their food trip bucket list when visiting the town. From farm to table food delicacies you can take back home as a souvenir, no tourist will ever say no to food from Tagai Thai. If you're wondering where exactly you should spend your money on, keep watching the video because that's what the next section will tell you. Tagai Thai is known for its many local delicacies such as buko pie and tarts, but its most famous dish is called bulalu. This sumptuous bowl of soup has vegetables, beef marrow bones, and beef shanks. It's perfect for the weather in the province, which is why almost all restaurants offer this dish. What to pack? The weather is unpredictable in Tagai Thai, so you have to make sure to bring necessities with you such as an umbrella, scarf, and a light jacket. You might think that you don't need any of these during the summer season as it will be hot and humid, but the temperature drops at night and there's a chance of a light rainfall from time to time. Make sure to bring at least a windbreaker with you to keep you warm and dry. Language The majority of the locals in the area speak Filipino and English, which makes it easy for international tourists to communicate. Make sure to bring a dictionary with you or download one on your smartphone just in case you can't convey your thoughts or questions accurately to the locals. Don't be shy as they're very friendly and can accommodate all of your questions, especially if it's related to directions. Sample itinerary to Tagai Thai. There's a lot of things you can do in Tagai Thai on the weekend, leaving you with enough anticipation to head back here the next time you get the chance. Tagai Thai is one of the best places to visit after all. If you're having a hard time building your itinerary, here's the one you can take inspiration from. Thanks a lot for being a part of our Tagai Thai adventure. If you like this guide, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel tips. Share your Tagai Thai stories or drop any questions in the comments down below. Travel safely and we'll see you in the next adventure.